I wanted to show you a few of the books that I'm going to be writing for writing <laughs> reading for um I wanted to do some research and maybe I'm hoping two or three months I'm going to get started on writing an epic fantasy that I've had brewing for a little while. Um, so I have done the basic, some characters, a little bit of plot, I have a general idea of what's going to happen. So while I'm working on my main, excuse me, my main writing project just now, oh my god, can't say the word, um, I thought I'd show you the books that I have planned out to read uh, in the hopes it might give me some ideas or just it's for general interest as well because I do like reading history books but I have some here that I've had for a while so I'm going to show you these I have these ones it's life in a medieval village it's very bright I'm sitting in front of the window but I wouldn't have light otherwise life in a medieval village life in a medieval city and life in a medieval castle. I've had these for a long time and I have like flicked through some of them to get some ideas and all that but uh, I noticed George R. R. Martin has these. You're like oh okay maybe I should get around to reading them. Um, the story I'm telling it is medieval. It's not strictly European um, so I have some ideas of what I would like. So I've got uh, a book on. Sorry. Uh, this is medieval Japan, medieval and early modern Japan. It's hard to find, I think, getting Japanese history books that you know are in English, obviously, uh, especially for this time period, which I was interested in. But yeah, I mean, it really even covers you know music and dance and everything. So. Another one that I've had a flick through, but not properly read through. And to go with that medieval Japan, I have a, a yokai encyclopedia to have a little look through. See if I can come up with any interesting um, creatures, what have you. Uh, because I want some intrigue, this is for the Tudor court. Again, these are books I've had for a long time and flicked through, never read properly or it might go in and think, oh, there's something that might be interesting. Um, this is the Tudor Court, so it's a little bit later, but uh, yes, just to get some courtly mach machinations going, is that right? You yeah, know what I mean. Some entry going. Uh, I also... I also um not 100% sure if I want I was thinking of having a siege in the book so I have had this as Brassie's uh, book of sieges I don't I think this is really hard to get a hold of now but uh, you can see I've marked it already <laughs> um this is a really interesting book actually and I have read through it and it goes from you know there's the it tells you the, the mechanics of a siege and then we have I never know whether to call this acre or, or acre <laughs> uh, 1189 to 1991 and then it goes right through to uh, I'm assuming that's Vietnam at 1968 so it spans quite, quite a large period of time but all the you know, obviously the, the large sieges that were throughout history. So I'll be looking through that. These are books I have. There is a series. I'm not quite sure why I got all of them. I don't need that term. Uh, so this is Fighting Techniques of the Medieval World. Uh, these I have looked through. Because it's just, it's really fascinating, all the different things that they have. Oh, you can't see I'm going to hold up, it's too damn heavy. Um, so yeah, I'll be looking through that one. And I also have, in the same series of books, uh, Fighting Techniques of the Oriental World. 
So that was, I've got another one, the one that I'm going to That's um, Early Modern. And I think they also have one for Naval War, Naval Warfare, Warfare I'm sure. Which hopefully I'll get sometime. I'll look through them and it might give me some hints for something, some interesting fight, fight scenes and all that and battles. Uh, this is a, a book. This is just one I look through. Now it's actually a children's book. Um, and I always find sometimes their history books, when you're looking for something simple, um, that the children's books can be quite interesting because they're straightforward, you know, they don't go into great detail, especially if you're not needing great detail of anything. And sometimes, you know, you find something that is really interesting. So that'll be something... You know, like uh, an actual chakram was a real weapon. It wasn't just something made up for Xena. So, talking of fight scenes as well, I have two fiction books here. Now, George R. R. Martin claims that the best author he's ever read, the best writer of fight scenes, was Bernard Cornwall. So, I've got this one. I don't ha I have ebooks, so I think I've got The Kingdom. So, as you know, there was the TV programme or TV series, Kingdom, The Last Kingdom, The Last Kingdom. Um, I was thinking of the Korean zombie program there. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to read that. And Brandon Sanderson, <laughs> I was watching his, he was signing pages in his book before they were bound in, um, and he was just, chatting, answering viewers' questions and all that. And he claims that Ari Salvatore is one of the best fight scene writers here. So I've got The Thousand Orcs, and it's Drizzt Driz, Driz Dorden. Um, and I really like these books, and The Forgotten Realms and The Dungeon... No, Dragonlance. Um, I really enjoyed them. And uh, so I'm going to read these two books to see if I can get any tips on how to write a fight scene. I have done fight scenes and all that before but it's always good to learn something new and um, yeah. So that's what I've got for my research um, and like I say I'm hoping to get that started in two to three months. I want to get this main writing project finished and another one finished or at least mostly finished and when I say finished I mean as in published as in or almost getting published because um, I really want to amp up my writing this year because it's about time I can't just write rough drafts and then just leave them and do nothing with them got to do something with them uh, so yeah, that is my plan, my little research plan. Um, and in the meantime, as I when after I finish my day's writing, I can sit and do some outlines and things like that. I am a planner, but I don't plan every single detail. But I am hoping by looking through these books and reading through them that I will get some ideas to make the world a bit richer. Not necessarily put everything in, you know, because you don't want to bog your reader down with so many details. But, uh, yeah. So, let me know what kind of research you do. If you do a lot of research or if you just write first and then go back and fix what you think is wrong. So, there we have it. I will speak to you shortly. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will speak to you soon. Okay, bye.